Hey all, my name is Jakub Jasik and today's movie I want to show you something related to the Microsoft Intion and the eSIM configuration. On today's movie I will show you how to properly configure the eSIM profile which will be deployed directly to the end user device. I will show you also the screenshot from the end user devices, how it is looked from the end user perspective to start working with the eSIM profile on the, his device. So let's start the demo. If you want to start working with the eSIM profiles on the Microsoft Intune, open the Microsoft Intune portal, go to the devices, eSIM cellular profile. On this tab, you can see existing profiles, but on my case, there is no active profile, so I need to create one. When I click on the learn more button, I will be redirected to the Microsoft documentation website where we can find the CSV file example, because we need to upload the CSV file. On the first row, and the first cell you need to provide URL of the mobile operator activation services. On the second and later rows, you need to provide two columns. First column is ICC ID. This is the identity pair of the SIM chip. And the second column is the matching ID. All that information you should receive from your op mobile operator. Without that information, you will be not able to configure the configuration from the Microsoft Intune. From my side, I can tell you that this information you can receive from the Orange Flex operator. This operator is based in Poland, but if you want to have an international operator, just go to the Airlow website and buy the eSIM card. You will get also the required information what you need to provide in the CSV file. So I already prepared that CSV file. As you can see on the first row, I have the URL. After that, on the second row and the first column, I have ICC ID and the second column, there is a matching ID, which I need to provide. If I go back to the Microsoft Intune, I need to click add button, provide a CSV file. After uploading the CSV file, I will see total SIM activation codes, which are available on that CSV file and the URL, click OK. After uploading the CSV file, I can go to the details of that cellular subscription. I have the overview tab where I can see the device status of assignments. I can go to the properties where I can see the total SIM activation codes, go to the assignments where I need to provide a group with the devices what received the eSIM configuration and I can go to the monitors to, to check the device status of the deployment of that eSIM profiles. From the Microsoft Intune, it will be everything because you properly uploaded the CSV file with the eSIM activation codes. And now when the end user will log on to this device, we'll see a couple of things. I will show you on the screenshot what it exactly looks like. As the first step, end user will see the new information, the new eSIM profile available. Your organization installed a new eSIM profile. We can dismiss this window and go directly to the settings. If we go directly to the settings, we can see that cellular settings. We can click on the manage eSIM profiles. When we click it on this, we will get information that we have the orange eSIM profile installed in our device. We can click on the start using that eSIM profile. And when we will start using that eSIM profile, the button will be changed to the stop using. If you want to stop using, of course, just click on the button. If you want to delete that eSIM profile, just click on the delete button. What is important, if you format or the wiped device, the eSIM profile will stay on the device. It will be saved directly to the to your device. So please remember about that, because if you sell that device, the eSIM profile will stay on the device. And when the eSIM profile will be properly configured and connected, you will see that eSIM is connected and you don't need to use the Wi-Fi or Ethernet network. There is additional options there, like the data roaming options and use cellular instead of Wi-Fi. Just select the proper options what you want to use. And the last step, there's an information about the device status activation. Because if you go to the device status, you will see which device, which user received specific ICC ID and the activation status, it will be active. Also, the cellular status will be installed. And 
For today's movie, it will be everything because I showed you how to prepare a CSV file, upload it to the Microsoft Intune, assign to the proper group, and how it looks from the end user perspective to configure the eSIM configuration on their devices. Thank you for watching and see you on the next movie.